What up, fam? I joined the Marine Corps because of what this custom Lego set is. Brick Veterans FA-18A Hornet VMFA-314 AK the Black Knights. All right, I know. This is my fourth video on a Brick Veteran F-18, but the other three jets were different. They're more advanced because the Navy uses them. This is the Marine Corps version, and we don't really get a lot of new things. Like currently we use the F-35 Lightning B, but before that we got second hand-me-downs from the Navy. And specifically this jet in itself was the reason why I joined the Marine Corps. Let me elaborate. Now I've mentioned my origin story in the Marine Corps multiple times before, and you could find those videos pretty much everywhere within this channel. But to revisit, I already knew at a young age, I was gonna join the military, specifically the army, just like my father and many of my aunts and uncles. Either way, I didn't know anything about the Marine Corps when I was little until I watched the movie Independence Day. Time's up. When Will Smith played the character Captain Steven Hiller. In the movie, he was a US Marine fighter pilot that flew F 18s and was a captain within the Black Knight Squadron that at the time was based out of El Toro in California. Now they're out of Miramar, where the current Marine Air Station is. And when I watched that movie, I fell in love with the F 18 Hornet in general. I thought it was a beautiful aircraft. And after watching the movie, I wanted to be a fighter pilot, let alone want to know what a Marine was. You will treat all Marines with the highest level of respect. For we have earned our planes and marines, and we'll accept nothing less than that from you! I knew they existed, I didn't really know anything else but that. So after watching Independence Day, I wanted to fly an F-18. I didn't even know they had pilots. So I asked my pops, what is the Marine Corps? And the only thing he told me was that they guard ships. Well, he's not really wrong in that stance. We're more like Navy foot soldiers. Kinda. I mean, back in the day, like back, back in the day, Marines were the ones shooting each other from across ships and disembarking on land for the Navy. In more modern times, it's really not that much different. It's just our hands can reach out further than anything else. And also because we're the best and we're egotistical, self-centered, and we think we're better than everyone. Who's the man? Huh? Who's the man? Wait till I get another plane. I'm lining all your friends up right beside you. But since I had to figure that all on my own, I decided to be the first Marine in my family. My pops didn't really like that too much. In fact, till this day, we kind of go back and forth and who's better. So in my adolescence, before high school, I kind of inquired about what it really takes to become a Marine. And I went to a recruiter and I asked all the questions, what do I have to do to become a Marine pilot? And the first thing he told me was one, I gotta go to college, become an officer, and I can't break any bones. I'm like, well, that sucks because I joined football, whoops. Long story short, 9-11 happened. A lot of my friends went to Iraq and I wanted to be on the ground side and didn't really pursue the pilot path immediately. But when I went to boot camp, I found out that I didn't have 20-20 vision and well, my dreams of becoming a fighter pilot just crashed. Ooh, that was bad. My knee just gave out and then- My, 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 That's what quotes, sir. That's what quotes. You will freaking die with damn discipline. Do you understand that? Yes, That's sir. What my dreams of becoming a fighter pilot was over. <laughs> now I was sad about that for a while, but then I also came to realize that becoming a fighter pilot in the Marine Corps was probably gonna be near impossible. Not to say that it couldn't be obtained, but this is why. For one, I learned that becoming a Marine fighter pilot for fixed wing was almost near impossible. That's the F-35 and the F-18. Now becoming a rotary pilot or a supply pilot, that might be a little bit more easier to obtain, but to become a fighter pilot, it's really political, meaning you need to know somebody to get into one of those schools or the alpha male or female from a class of officers usually they come from annapolis like the west point version for the navy and marine corps like ivy league but military like almost near impossible to get into not only that to be really smart and do really good in high school like a 4.3 gpa plus be involved in your school be in top physical shape as well as be recommended by a local senator and or congressman or be the offspring of a medal of honor recipient i mean it's really hard to get into that school i'm just kind of naming a few things of what you have to do to get into it you have to be one of the top cadets within that school to even be considered to go to fight school for a fighter fixed wing aircraft but within my Marine Corps career, I was able to communicate and watch F-18 pilots do their thing out in the middle of nowhere, destroying the enemy. Anyways, this was a must have when I found out that Brick Veteran was going to make a Marine version of the F-18. Now, I kind of hinted that they should do an Independence Day version because, well, I mean, 
why not it's the black knights it's an actual squadron that does exist to this day now currently they fly the f-35s they don't do the f-18s anymore but still the squadron exists and who doesn't want a minifigure of will smith in independence day like nostalgia hit me in like many ways like with brick mania making an homage to myself and my actual battery in the marine corps to having will smith in an f-18 the reason why i joined the marine corps in my hands made from lego and in the end this jet paved the way to my life i wouldn't have joined the marine corps if it wasn't for this jet i wouldn't have gone to college i wouldn't have the job that i have today i wouldn't have the motorcycle club that i created let alone all the friends that i've built along the way both in my personal life now in lego who are now family but most of all my house and my wife and children you can kind of say that this represents the building block of today that was so bad <laughs> And if you're not familiar with Brick Veteran, they are a third party Lego company that focuses on modern to past century military builds. I know this set is very expensive. It's about a G and some change, but you can purchase the instructions on their own. Once they're available, piece it together yourself. You're not going to have the printed pieces, let alone the minifigures, but you're able to get the aircraft at a relatively decent price. Like when I pieced together the Maverick version of the F-18, Super Hornet, it was about three to $400, pending on Bricklink prices at the time. Now I've always promoted them to be the top shelf of custom Lego sets, only because the packaging, the building experience, the quality of the Lego bricks and minifigs are hands down top notch. Like for me, I like whiskey and McKaylin to me is top shelf, meaning very pricey, very expensive, but worth every penny. And if you really want me to elaborate Brick Veteran, check out any video that I've done in the past for Brick Veteran and or the other three F-18 videos that I've done in the past. And although I've already done three F-18s, that's the Maverick upgrade or the original two, this one is built differently. It did not feel the same as the other three that I've built before. In fact, it feels like a completely new model. The F-18 Legacy, the original version of the F-18 is smaller than the newer versions that the Navy uses to this day or the ones you see in Top Gun Maverick. And in scale with the other ones, this one is slightly smaller than the others. As I've said before, Marines get the hand-me-downs from the Navy. It's only recently, like more recently, when we started getting stuff specifically for the Marine Corps, like, like the F-35B Lightning II, it's specific for Marine Corps needs. And the Marine Corps didn't really want to invest in the Super Hornet like the Navy does. They have a very specific mission that doesn't require us getting the newer F-18s. The Marine Corps out of all five, oh wait, six branches now with the Space Force, are the poorest ones. We come out of the Department of Navy, so we get hand-me-down budgets if a ship's not being built. So we know how to make do with no money. We're like the budget military that does the hardest part of the work. At this point, I'm just gonna read some of the stuff that Brick Veteran says in their instructions. Ultimately, the Marine Corps took a low hour earlier versions of the Hornet that still had fighting hours left and turned them into so, so bad. Pretty much the Marine Corps took older versions of the F-18 that still had some life left and upgraded to F-18C capabilities. That's some cheap stuff right there. Look, I can go on reading a lot of the cool things that come in this book, but I'm not. Look, in the end, altogether, this was a fun build, except for the stand. Like, the stand doesn't hold the jet upright correctly. It kind of dips forward if you were to have it in a level position as opposed to having the accelerate going up. But aside from that, this is my last F-18 that I'm ever going to buy, build, or share. Look, Lego, this is exactly what you could do. Modern military fighting aliens. Look, in the movie, everybody was united to fight the aliens. There was no country versus country. <laughs> Okay, all right, that's it. No more F-18 videos.